at number three, welcome to the notorious Reeds Road, Liverpool 36. Reeds Road is like a horseshoe sheet. So far it looks okay, but as we get round, you'll see what I mean. It was this CCTV was the one that caught two gunmen on a pedal bike which was fired at two cars and a home belonging to an innocent member of the public um, just a couple of years ago but around 10 years ago young drug gangs ruled the roost here using deadly weapons to settle their disputes with other local gangs but fast forward 10 years and walking around here now you can still see the systemic problems that still remain one of those is the row of houses down there in front of me where half the houses are lived in the other half every window's tinned up and if not it's been smashed but while it's not the worst residential street in Liverpool I think because of its violent past and still some dead old houses it definitely deserves to be on one of Liverpool's roughest streets list In my opinion, there's absolutely no need for that there. Okay, I've come in the car now. I'm going to show you the houses in the car. Just look at this. This fella's just throwing his rubbish out of his window, straight into his own gutter. I mean, you've got no respect for your own house, then what chance have you got? But I'm going to drive past these houses now on the right because um, when I was walking past then, there was a woman hanging out of a window smoking. And it just felt a little bit rude that I was putting a camera at her house because there is some people still live here At number two, welcome to Hopwood Street, Liverpool Farm. This was the Parrot Pub, once among the many busy pubs on Scotland Road, but has been an eyesore and stood deadlift for more than a decade now, I think, probably longer. But behind it, we have some lovely L5 graffiti. A lovely L5 cactus there and a, uh, a mini dump here from Orish Street we're greeted with more graffiti well I know a bit of graffiti and a deadlift building doesn't make the street so rough especially when the rest of the houses are really nice certainly some house proud people live here but again it's hit the headlines this year for the wrong reasons and that's why I'm including it on this list because it's officially the worst street for antisocial behaviour in the whole of Merseyside which the data comes from datapolice.uk where it looks at the number of incidents logged classed as antisocial behaviour This is the Britannia pub at the bottom of Hotwood Street which again hit headlands, albeit in lockdown, but again, it didn't uh, do any favours for Hopwood Street. Well, that's this is just a small communal park at the bottom of Hotwood Street, but as you can see, with shopping trolleys and wheelbarrows, it's probably where all the anti-social behaviour does take place and no doubt this wood will be set alight soon At 
number one, welcome to Juicy Street, Liverpool 8, where these once impressive Victorian houses have long, long fallen into major disrepair. The area was leased by the council to private developers for nothing in 2017, where planning permission was granted for up to 80 apartments, but seven years on, and nothing's changed. It's West Tree Estates that now own these houses. And as I say, after seven years, they've not even started anywhere to transform these houses. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's a three year time limit for the developers and that's obviously well, well gone. So I don't think the apartments will ever become a reality now. Meaning the developers will have to apply for new planning permission. And this is where I think personally the council should step in or they should have at least put some pressure on the developers to get something done. This wasteland used to be houses and lovely houses as well but it's now a dumping ground for fly tippers. There's fridges even over here as well and burnt out whatever wheelie bins or something here it's a shame really absolute shame little is known as well about west tree estates the company has no online presence or a listed contact number look at all this just f absolute shit all so you can't even get in touch with the west tree estates to find out what the plan is that's a shame because people have worked hard to build back this community from what it was 20 30 years ago and then your very own council let you down by allowing this ISO for so long you know there's a serious shortage of genuinely affordable houses across Liverpool and yeah we have this Let's see if we can uh, have a little look inside as well, actually. Hang on. It's just... Just gone, hasn't it? It's just right down to the footings. No floor. Absolute dump. And then there's no floor upstairs either. It goes right up to the loft. Such a waste, absolute waste. Just an absolute ISO. It's sad. Over here is no, no better. There's people just coming and dumping all the shite, really. These uh, faded murals that you can see, by the way, on the windows and doors. Um, many of them have been painted by community artist Isabella O'Rourke who tried to uh, state of that tried to uh, tidy the place up a little bit but obviously it's, I think it's beyond that now I don't think anything will anything at all make these look any better than what they are as I say it's a shame on the uh, LA community that they have to see this every day Are you from round here, are you, mate? Yeah, next street. Oh, are you next street, yeah. How long have these been derelict for? Years. Is it? 
It's sad to see though, isn't it? It's very sad to see. I won't get you on this. I'm gonna have a little look. Thanks for watching everyone, take care.